Just a few days ago, a Singapore Airlines flight was forced to make an emergency landing after it was rocked by extreme turbulence. As a result of the rocky air, one of the passengers died of a heart attack and 30 more were injured. Now, Airlines Ratings Editor-in-Chief Jeffrey Thomas says that a changing climate could mean violent winds become a mainstay of air travel. Turbulence is becoming more prevalent as climate changes. Uh, and a university's research in the United Kingdom has shown that over the last 40 years, severe turbulence has increased by 55%, moderate turbulence by 37%, and slight turbulence or light turbulence by about 17%. So as the weather changes, certainly it is getting more turbulent. Still, he adds that despite that, new aircraft fitted with advanced weather tracking tech have significantly decreased the number of injuries and fatalities aboard flights. Now, fast forward to, to the last 20 years, there's only been three fatalities, including the one yesterday, involving turbulence uh, and aircraft. So the, the industry's made extraordinary strides through technology, weather radar, sophisticated weather radar, and all sorts of other preventative strategies. So will airlines change any protocol after this recent turbulence tragedy? Thomas seems to think so. But airlines saying we recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened while seated, they should be saying it is mandatory to keep your seatbelt uh, done up on this airline. No recommend. I think throw away the word recommend. This is mandated. You must put your seatbelt on.